two, three, I don't know, in a row. So without further ado, let's get right back into the run, get some gaming going on, and it is 3.03. I never really checked beforehand, but we'll play as Eden on hard mode. We start off with Fate, an item I haven't seen in a while. Uh, we get Doctor's Wiimote. I just say that because it looks like a, a Wii remote. Uh, not really, but I've always said that. Anyways, the tier rate's below average, damage is above average. The seed is 6C G8 3J XG. I like doing those at the beginning of the run because it's like a little tongue twister. That I, I feel like I usually fail at. It's like red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow, yellow, yellow. See? I could never be like a newscaster. I mess up what I'm saying all the time. Also, we will probably take uh, this trinket. What is it? Hollow heart. Um, it's actually a really good trinket. At the beginning of every floor, you get a bone heart. If you have mom's box, at the beginning of every floor, you get two bone hearts. So if you're going for devil deals, it's actually really, really strong. If you can pair that with something like Book of Revelations, Book of Sins, you can go to the beginning of a floor, get your two bone hearts, then you will get your black heart if you use your book correctly, and you'll just crawl it. It's insane because you can use those for devil deals, which is awesome. Uh, we do want to find the secret room. I'm just going to keep using Doctor's Remote until we find it. But yeah, today, I'm trying to decide when I want to upload this video. Uh, I, I really I really don't know. I'm trying to decide when if I want to do the every other day schedule while I'm gone to um, Oregon to visit my friends. I might, there is a small chance that I will record while I'm out there. Um, maybe once or twice just to get a couple of runs in. I'm not taking my microphone with me. I'm not taking a lot of my stuff with me. I might use one of my friend's setups because they do have like a mic and st stuff. And I usually always take, I always take my camera everywhere I go. I take my laptop everywhere I go. I take my Xbox controller everywhere I go for the most part. Um, so I should be able to figure out ways to play. But I take my camera and my cam link. That way I always at least have some small way to uh, record my video. That looks good. Now, if I really needed to, I could just record an SD card, put it in Premiere real quick and like re-render it all. But that's a little bit annoying, so... Hopefully, I won't have to do that. And Seraphin is one of the best items, like, ever. It's a baby that has, like, six damage per tier because it has Sacred Heart tiers. So, I think it... Usually, familiars have 3.5 damage tiers. This one has a 2.3 times damage tier, I believe. So, it's something insane. So, I am just going to do this. And that is going to be the secret room. Do I want to take that with? I think Doctor's Remote is actually really good because it's a reasonable bomb. I will use this again. HP up's fine. We're going to have a lot of health going to the next floor, which I do appreciate. And hopefully, maybe we can get enough charges. I don't think we'll be able to. We, we might be able to get enough charges to go into the curse room. Um, you might be like, how are you going to get enough charges? If we go into the downpour room, there is a small chance that we can have an enemy in there that will get us a charge. Also, I don't know why I'm so burpy. Right now, it's actually 822. It's pretty early for me to record. For some reason, my family decided to eat dinner at like 6 p.m. today, which is like unheard of. In our household, we usually eat at like 8. Like, that's 7.30 to 8 is the most like usual time for us to eat. I don't know why we didn't eat then. Kind of confuses me. But I'm not going to argue it. It's fine. I like it. I think I'm just going to go into the curse room, maybe. Like, is there any way I can do anything here? Because if I go to the curse room, I'll still have half a soul heart, which is worthwhile. We get free entry. I just wanted to go, like, absolutely free to get in here. Okay, you know what? Maybe it wasn't worthwhile, but we did get a... We did get a full charge. And now, where would the super secret room be if it existed anywhere on this floor? I feel like I have a feeling that's, like, right here. But it's probably not. I'm going to guess right here. Dang, no. I feel like if it was, I feel like it's right here. Why did I not bomb there if I thought I was right there? Because it's probably not right there. I really felt like it. Sadly, we don't have a key, so we can't go to downpour, which is fine. Just means we don't get more options for, like, what items we can get in the item room. That's fine. We will be A-OK. -okay. We are super, super strong right now because Seraphin is, like, it will carry you through so many floors. And Curved Horn, on top of that, gives us plus two damage. If we get Bomb's Box... We are literally just going to be insane. We're going to get plus four damage just from Curved Horn with Mom's Box. Right now, we get plus two. And the chance of us getting uh, Mom's Box, not super high, but it's not super low either. So we should be pretty fine. I'm just going to like fully pay this out. Not fully, but 
just gonna get 15 cents have that with me and see what we can do here um let's blow this wall up okay, nothing let's not walk into the bomb and just die that would be that would be not a cool tactic yeah today was a super good day this morning i woke up um and went to breakfast with my grandma we had a nice time she always likes when she comes out just to like my brother and i each take not take turns but we each have a, a day that we go and take her out to breakfast and we can just talk to her like one-on-one -on -one, um because sometimes whenever you're with a setting with your family like my parents already know like pretty much everything going on in my life so they're not going to ask questions that she might ask that she might just not ask when we're all together so we were just talking about like school life all that fun stuff and so it was, it was a super good time um then after that i went and hung out with my best friend who uh sadly he's just always so busy like whenever he comes back home uh because he's in the military he went to west point for four years graduated and now is just doing his military stuff and so he's always super busy and so i got to go see the avatar movie with him uh the other day and then i got to hang out with him go to lunch he came over to my house for a little bit said hi to my family it was a, it was a really fun time and so we went to glory days and while there we just caught up because it's one of those things i don't know what it what it is but like if somebody is not immediately like with me other than like if we like talk on discord every day i would count that as technically immediately with me i just we kind of just don't con like we don't communicate too often which i feel bad about sometimes but we just like we don't text too often same thing with my my other like best friend is sometimes we just don't talk and it's not because like there's any there's no like reason it's just we are just busy people who have things going on in our lives, and so it's just just a lot. So, we're like, yeah, we just need to text more and stuff, which we probably do. It's good for us. Um, Let me reroll a couple times, because if I can get Mom's box in here, I will reroll it to death. Uh, We'll actually take you. Mom's key is actually insanely good. Gives us another key, which allows us to go into this the item room, which should be pretty good. Do I want to do that, though? There is a chance that we can get into the item room without using a key, but it requires us to use a key to to get that. Also, we will get a devil deal this floor. Um, I don't know if I want to take it or not. Uh, we do have, we could take Hollow Heart for the rest of the run and just have free health every floor. I don't know if that's like a good idea. We do have a lot of health. You know what? Let's go check it out. I think, you know what? I'm going to do something a little dumb. We're going to take both of these. We're just going to lock in devil deals and see how this goes. I'm going to walk in here. Hopefully there's an enemy. If there is, we just might want an enemy there so we can get our charge on Doctor's Wiimote. And now we can go open the item room without actually expending any resources. And it's really weird. We haven't gotten a bomb so far this run, which makes me feel a little uncomfy. Okay. Here we get some bombs. Okay, I am going to use these bombs to blow up these mushrooms. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is come to the curse room. Take some of these. What are you? Cross speed up is good. Okay, uh, we're going to take the bone heart. Speed up's actually pretty good. And that way we keep our bone hearts. We like our bone hearts. Black hearts are really good, but we don't super need them. And let's go back to the shop. Now I'm just going to keep donating and donating until, as many times as I can. Hopefully we don't pass mom's box or anything. Now I am going to use the pause strat if I have to. As people have said it's worthwhile. And you know what? Let's just take hive mind. I'm going to blow this up. There's a way that we can get enough money to... um. That's actually really good. We'll use that before we leave the floor. That wasn't mom's box. And we could probably get enough money to buy that guy. And what we're going to go do is we're actually going to use IV bag uh, to lose eight hearts of health, which will get us eight cents, which will make it so we can buy King Baby. And also, we picked up this trinket because it's going to allow us to get a couple keys maybe a couple keys one key you know what? that's good enough we got our value out of the street get we're gonna set it back down never think about it again 
<coughs> and just carry on with our run. Um, Doctor's Remote is actually pretty good. We'll take you. We'll get conjoined. Early conjoined is always a nice time. Um, it's not the best thing ever, but if we get something like Eye of the Occult or something fun like that, we'll be good. We'll go. Make sure we have the right trinket. Make sure we're not missing anything. I think we're good. And one thing that's really awful that sometimes happens that I do is I'll do the thing where I pick up like flat, uh, flat penny and I'll just forget to go back and pick up like the really good trinket that I was carrying around for the longest time. Let's get you out of here. We're trying not to lose any black hearts. So was like you like getting rid of all my red heart health kind of a risky decision. Just a little bit. Can't front. It's not the most advisable situation but I'm a little bit confident in myself. Just a tiny bit. Oh, we have triple shot now. Forgot about that being a thing. Okay. We need to dodge these mouth opener guys. I swear one of these guys already shot. I don't know how. I think one of those shot twice. Am I mistaken? Also, King Baby, I need you to stop holding my good familiars back who have homing and high damage. I wish I had Spectral Tears. That would be nice. Be quite fantastic. Look at that usage right there. That's what we call... I was going to say sharing the love. That's not even sharing the love. That's just moving things around. Buddy in Box is good, but I'm just going to blow this up for value. And nothing too good. Buddy in Box is quite good. I only think Buddy in a Box is worth the 15 cents. Also, I'm so dumb. What in the world? I have flight. I was like trying to concoct in my head a way that we could fly over that and get that eternal heart. I was like, there has to be some some way that we can do that. There has to be. That we can walk over those spikes without taking damage. I'm like, maybe we have the bomb to get it? No, I can just walk. I can literally just do this. I'm like, it's going to blow it up. I'm like, we're fine. Okay, good. And as long as I don't get red hearts that filled the bone hearts, we will have the... Eternal heart be safe. I don't really care if the eternal heart's too safe. We are going devil deal, so I do want to keep it. But we should be fine. Let's do this real quick. I feel like this could be the secret room. Nice, it is. And speed up is huge. I'm just gonna take all these. That trip's bad. Till the end. Not bad. At least we found out what bad trip was early. Finding out later in the game can be risky sometimes as we saw yesterday in yesterday's run that was a tense run so i was saying that edmund's probably watching my videos i don't i didn't that's all i read of the thing because it popped on my phone while i was playing overwatch it was rough yeah after um after i went out to eat lunch with my best friend we hung out to like three um and then after that i was going to record the eating streak but i was like dang i might take a nap but then my friend's like hey video game and i'm like yeah, of course. <laughs> I will not say no to video games almost ever. Jeez, Doctor's Remote kind of goes crazy. And this will give us a bunch of soul hearts, which is awesome. By a bunch, I mean two, but two soul hearts is fine. And if I were to get rock bottom right now, which isn't most likely going to happen, I could take perfection and get a permanent plus 10 luck up. Which I don't know why, I feel like every time that I get rock bottom, I get perfection at some point and then just don't get the, don't ever pick it up. I'll see it, I'm like, you know what, I don't need that. But in fact, probably should have gotten it. But yeah, today's just been a lazy day. Played some Rocket League, we lost some Rocket League. Got uh, Diamond 3, Division 3, Division 2. I think I was Division 3, dropped down to Division 2. It was a rough day of playing. I tried to play with the Bugatti went bad so i switched back to my saffron fennec and that didn't go really any better also i'm just gonna pick up all these because i need money because i really really want mom's box mom's box is gonna be one of the most valuable things i can get i am gonna bomb my way into the secret room i'm gonna use doctor's remote to uh open up the mines door that's probably the best use for that oh i can get in and out of that for free okay there's only one right option here if i can take technology as well 
Oh, a pyromaniac would have been crazy. Was that the wrong choice? I thought that was going to work better. I'm, I might be just a little dumb. Let's be honest. Um, Man, now I'm sad. I thought that was going to work a lot different. And if I would have gotten pyromaniac, that would have been kind of hype. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. That's too bad. Well, compound fracture. Good item. Would have been crazy. Rest in peace. Forever. Um, now I just, I'm just going to grab this. And I was like, dang, is there any way that I can uh, revert that decision? There's not. Noticeably, no way to revert it. I'm going to go to the mirror realm real quick because we can go fight the boss really easily. I can just bomb it again and almost instantly kill it. That's going to be quite sick nasty. Okay, good. We have a good amount of damage right now. Uh, but conjoined with tech is just not a good time. Conjoined with some sort of split shot, which we had for a second, would have been really good. Oh, gosh. Let's not take damage again. Sick. We're just going to play it safe. I'm actually just going to leave the room. I'm not even going to walk across the room. That sounds too dangerous to me. And we're going to go all the way down to the boss fight. I probably I'm going to go to the shop because we can reroll the shop since there is a reroll machine in there. That's the cool thing about the mirror realm. You get an extra shop pretty much. Extra shops equal more items for me, maybe. If it's good. And definitely not taking that. Good. Where did I enter this room from, from before? The small room? I think that's where I entered from. Nice. We're going straight to the shop. Okay, Doctor's Remote. I always forget. I think always shoots out your tears because I don't have sad bombs right now. Unless it's shooting it out because of compound fracture. I don't know. I don't know anything. I'll be honest. Okay, we're looking for mom's box. Well, that works quite well. That actually gives us an extra two damage. And now I'm just going to keep re-rolling because why not? You might be like, that's a waste of money. It could be. I never really know. That's what we call value right there. What in the world? Okay. So, now we have two more damage. So we have a dumb amount of damage. And we profit. Hey, this is going to be a good run. This is quite strong. Seven damage on technology is pretty good. Now, if we get our tier rate up, that'd be even better. But we can't hope for too, too much. My insta-kill on this boss disappeared. And I'm just going to run up here. Not take any more damage. For a second and walk out. Okay, we do a lot of damage, so I'm pretty fine. This guy's usually kind of scary. It's only when he does the st stupid spinny attack of death. And that attack gets me sometimes. Gets me real good. And health, perfect. Honestly, if you're going for devil deals, health is honestly is almost one of the best items you can get because you can trade one health for more damage than like any other boss item. That would give you damage. I like it. And let's get on out of here. Um, there's not really any reason for me to like cycle through a bunch of trinkets. I am going to wait till the next floor to, uh, pop mom's box again, because if I do get a good trinket, we know for a fact on this floor, there's no way for me to gulp it. No way for me to get mom's backpack, uh, or mom's purse, whichever one it's called. There's no way for us to do, do any of that. So we might as well wait till the next floor just in case, because we could get something kind of crazy and 20 luck crazy sadly it's not gonna be that good Cur curve torn is like pretty much top tier when it comes to trinkets you don't get much better i was like what if we get magic mush right there that'd be kind of crazy we're just gonna go this way i mean we have a lot of health we have flight we are doing really good for ourselves room stats boosted our quadrupled That's crazy. Well, interesting. I would take that if I was able to gulp this. Now, I'm, if we get any pills, you know I'm just going to use it. And this guy always drops a card, sadly. Not a pill. You'd think you'd drop a pill. 
Gross guys should drop pills. Um, we take you. I could use the Emperor card right now. I'll wait a second on that. Hey, okay, this bone's bouncing around a little too much for my liking. For my liking. What's the plan? And one game I really want to go back and play again is Ark Survival Evolved. But it takes so much time and so much, like, willpower to actually play it and, like, have a good time. And when you lose everything, it's always just the most crushing defeat ever in any video game. It takes so long to get back to where you're actually, like, OP. You know, why not take Habit? We don't know what you are. A range up is pretty awful. Doesn't get much worse than that. But I'm just going to donate my money. We don't really need too much money right the second. We already got our only active item that we really care about. The only other thing that we can really get in a shop that'd be super important for us is Alabaster Box, which seems like us getting that. Not Alabaster. I don't know why I said Alabaster Box. Um, Keeper Sack. We already saw Alabaster Box. That's why I said it. That was just in my mind. My mind's eye. Okay, good. Can I get a gold pill? I would really like to take the golden worm trinket. It'd be so much fun. Pop up, please. Por favor. I do want to go to the super secret room if I can find it, because that could have a bunch of pills in it if we get the pill, like, specific room. Which would be nice. Yeah, Ark is just... It was one of the, like some of the most fun I've ever had in video games. Because it's like, back when I was in high school... Back when we just had nothing really going on in school, my friend and I would just know life, and every time we got, we'd, we'd be like, okay, you go home, I go home. As soon as we, like, finish our homework, get on ARC, and it's gonna be sick. And that's exactly what would happen. We would get on ARC, we'd play for forever. That was awesome. Now, Filigree Feather sounds like a cool idea. There's actually zero use for Filigree Feather, because we already are locked into getting Devil Deals. One thing I should go do real quick is go in this room. Nice. Um, the biggest room that I have, I will use the reverse tower card. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. And wow, I got locked out of my secret room. How rude. Okay, we'll go in here. I'm just gonna do this. Let's, let's work smarter, not harder. Hey, yo, yo. Chests are actually better for us now. Do I even want to get out of here? Not really. We're fine to stay in here. I'm pretty strong. After I played Overwatch for a while, uh, a bunch of my friends got on. Or I went and had dinner at like 6. Um, and then a bunch of my friends got on. We played some Valorant. Let me tell you, it was a pretty good time. We played against some like really, really like sweaty people. Really, really good at the game. But then I kind of started popping off a little bit, just a little bit. And uh, we still lost, but it was like, it was a close loss. It was, it was one of those losses that it stings a little bit. It was like, dang, that was so close. But the other team was just really good. And so my friends were trying their best, but I think I had 28 kills, which I know, not like a crazy, crazy amount. Um, their jet had 20, like 31 kills. Their rays had like 28 kills. And then I think the second most kills on my team was 14. It was like, I think it was 28 kills, 14 kills, 9 kills, 4 kills, and 4 kills, or something like that. So, a couple of my friends were just struggling a little bit against them, which happens. It's when you go against, like, really good teams. Not much you can really do about it. And that's actually really good. That gives me a tier rate up. Very small tier rate up, but a tier rate up nonetheless. And let's go find the super secret room. Hopefully, it's right here. Which it is. Noticeably not a pill room. And why am I doing this right now? Grabbing all these? Because Curve Torn is just better than any trinket. So I don't really care what I get at this point. Uh, but we will go to the next floor. I think we have everything I want. Yeah, I'm not going to sacrifice. Not really any reason to do that. I could have gotten Filigree Feather and like donate a few times to like get some use out of that. I don't know. There just didn't seem to like be a reason to do that. I'm not going to. Now am I going to do the chase sequence? Most likely not, because the chase sequence doesn't really give us anything. Sure, we get the knife item um, that we can use for the rest of the run if we don't go to Mother. Do I want to do that? Probably not. 
An M is interesting. If I want to reroll a random active item I get from the shop this floor, I could do that. Is that a good idea? Maybe not. So where's the ghost? Thank you. And now these guys are dying yet. You know they die whenever there's like exoplasm on the ground. You'll see. See right there? See how they blow up a little bit and go Hah. Let's see, no, they're dead. So I'm so sad I didn't get Pyromaniac. I mean, I just I just chose randomly. It was a bad choice. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Really not a good choice, but it was a choice I made. Um I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm also just gonna blow this up, because why not? So watch, if I exit the game and continue, Keeper Sacks could be right there. Is this cheating a little bit? Oh yeah, a little in my mind I think it's a little cheaty. Some people do. Somebody said it's not cheaty. So I believe in that person. So we are just gonna re-roll this. Wow, we are getting all the weirdest items. We're just gonna keep on rolling to see if maybe we can get like something really crazy from it. If we do, that's awesome. If we don't, still pretty awesome. I was about to say, I can't even blow that up. Now, oh, dang. I don't know. That's a... Flip is such a good item. We have a lot of money. Okay. So we pop in here. And there is Flip here. One Serpent's Kiss. We don't really want Serpent's Kiss. We don't really want the Golden Razor. So I'll take the other two items. I'll take the Double Blind item. Do I want double items for us to run? I think I do, because Devil Deals also get the double items. Which is pretty, pretty radical, brother. So I do need to use my reverse tower card. That should be pretty useful if I use it in a big room. The, the thing is, it always only spawns six nodes of rocks. But if you're in a bigger room, it'll spawn six slightly bigger nodes of rocks. It's pretty helpful. Now what I'm going to do is buy you... Why not? Blow you up. I'll probably buy Mama Mega real quick and just use it. In a second, at least. Yeah, I will use Tower Reverse Tower card in a second here. And this should give us a couple tinted rocks. It usually does. That we can use as we want. Um, any more tinted rocks in here? Yes, there's a tinted rock. I don't know. My eyes are not finding t tinted rocks that easily right now. And let's go. Okay, before we do anything else, we have a hundred percent chance at a devil deal, which is sick. I might. I don't know if I care about like depending on what I get. I might not care about mom's box too much. What did I just pick up? Ooh, skinny odd. Not the worst thing ever. It is a damage down that does reduce itself over time, but we want that. Maybe not. Uh, what I will do real quick is this. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit crazy, a little wild, a little wacky, and a little a little loose. Feeling a little fired up. Okay, where's my trinket? I'm about to get angry what in the world is it in here where's my trinket where did I drop curved horn what in the world am I I got rid of Curved Horn. I just realized I did 20 to Curved Horn. That is the most painful thing I think I've ever done in my life. I'm saddened by what has happened today. Uh, I'm going to buy you. Take you. Uh, we will go into this room real quick. Do this. Pop you. And your soul is actually pretty insane. And we just did that. That way we could get rid of... M. Now I will use M again, because why not? I haven't taken any damage, so this thing's like twisting around and making me scared a little bit, but I'm not going to let it fool me. I know that I'm safe. 
right where I am. <clears throat> I'm gonna blow this up. There's a bunch of mushrooms right here. A lot of opportunity for things to die. When singe? As long as I'm over a rock, I should be pretty fine. Hey, yo. That's fine. I should really need to not take damage until I get like nine lives or something ridiculous like that. Okay. Um, we get both of these. I don't know why I was thinking maybe I only get one. But look at this. This is the beauty of what we have right here. We got Eye of the Occult, which is absolutely insane. Okay, the hand needs to never fall again. Nice. Okay, so we're taking Eye of the Occult because that's a two heart uh, devil deal. These all are all two heart devil deals. I don't know why I'm making a bigger deal than it is. And I might as well. Do I want to take all of these? It gives me Leviathan, so it gives me health back, so we might as well. We flip this, we take you, take you, and we take you. Why? Just because we can. We are quite rich. And are you wizard? We don't need that. Might as well pop this. Might as well pop you. And that's fine. I will go down to Mausoleum. Mausoleum's a little scary, but I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm not too worried about this run right this second. Now, could things go downhill, like, in an instant? Yeah. Things could get really bad really quick if I just take, like, one hit of damage. Now, I'm quite strong right now. I got, like, the, the Sith Overlord build right here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, fine, I feel like. I think the M roll was good. I think getting rid on accident of our, uh, a really really solid trinket was a little bit bad i don't know if you guys agree with that i forgot i was like i just need to use d20 real quick i got so confused watch how op this is now this room scares me more than anything else this whole floor scares me more than anything else this is fun oh my gosh Oh my gosh, everything's just running at me and I don't like it. I don't appreciate it one bit. Okay. We do get double items in here. Um, only one of them we can actually flip. Now, that is gonna be Mega Bean. I'm gonna take this. The health upgrade, flip and depression's not bad. Okay, that's fine. The health upgrade is going to be good. Uh, do I want any of this? Not really. Sharp keys pretty okay. Uh, I will buy this on sale. That does give me a damage boost, which is not too bad. I'm very nervous right now. I'm going to be honest. Um, Damocles is not something I use too frequently on the Eden Streak, just because, I don't know. Every time I use it, I'm like, this is going to be fine. And then it turns out that it's not fine whatsoever. And that my entire life just could end at any second not fun but i mean if you know how to play with it it's fine oh that's sick um let's see x lax hematemesis the black heart could be nice there's no way i want to lose that health i don't even want to do that room i'm gonna be honest oh gosh this room can be really scary if things don't go completely my way. I'm going to stay over rocks. That way no tears can just randomly hit me. That way no like spiders can just randomly hit me. That is my my truth. That's my way. Um, let's go back up to the item or the shop real quick. I'm trying not to walk over any fires. Honestly, having flight whenever you have Damocles is one of the scariest things. Because flight means that you can walk on the stuff that you usually can't. And... I don't care about any of these items for the most part. All I really care about is getting value from them, such as stat increases. So I'm just going to take them as is. Hierophant card is actually really good. Um, I didn't even realize we got Mongo Baby. When did that happen? Don't remember that. Oh, is that the blind item? That's probably a blind item. 
Okay, uh, we should have enough charges. I'm out of there. No way I'm actually going to attempt that room. That's horrifying. We can do this. You can always go to curse rooms uh, and take curse room damage. That is one of the acceptable ways to take damage when you have Damocles. It does not make, does not activate the Damocles trying to kill you mode, luckily. Um, but we have a lot of damage. Also, this is what I was saying. If we could have gotten, I, I said, if we got Eye of the Occult, we'd be strong. We got Eye of the Occult. I'm glad we took uh, Spectral Tears because Spectral Tears are really helping us out here. This just allows us to like not have to worry about rocks. Because there are a lot of rocks, if you guys didn't know. Nice. I'm just playing with my butt clenched at all times, I'm going to be honest. There's nothing more nerve-wracking than this game with Damocles. Do you think that's a lie? I promise it's not. And this is a scary boss. Okay. Uh, marbles could be good, depending on what I get. Do I want any of that? I mean, Vibram is not the worst ever. Because it does give us a small stat increase, but it's not that good. I don't think I like any of these trinkets. But now we have a way to gulp, at least. Uh, do I want to buy anything else? Probably not. We're just going to go to the next floor before we do anything dumb. I think I have in the past accidentally bombed myself while I had Damocles. So that is our, like, number one. Let's try not to do that thing. And that is... That's wonderful. Okay. Um... I'm just going to take the random item. Okay. Um, Isaac's heart is quite scary. We'll be fine, though. It makes me have like a little bit more options when it comes to how I move around. It would be cool if it made it so Damocles just couldn't kill you. Okay. Well, we took damage right there. So now it's a race against the clock. We don't care about any damage now. All we care about is running fast and we'll go in crazy. Hey, okay. we're trying to get to the devil deal because the devil deal can bring us life. If we're lucky, we just need an extra life. That's all we need, which you can get a lot of them in the devil or in the devil deal. Good. Um, let's just go up here. What? Oh my gosh, I walked through the fire with my heart. Isaac's heart was probably one of the worst things I could have gotten. Uh, okay, this is fine. We don't need Diplo. Am I freaking out a little bit? Yes, the heart. Isaac's heart is just so bad. That's probably the worst thing that we could have stumbled upon. But it's fine. We'll be okay. Health is fine. Please just give me the devil deal. Like, I, yeah, I was going to take damage no matter what here. Uh, take you. Come in here. If we take lethal damage, it would... It just doesn't kill us instead. Okay, we're going to do this real quick. Should I not, like, lollygag and do this? Probably not. Okay, please. Pay out. Thank you. So we take you. Take you. Take you. Take you. Do this. Take you. What are you? Health down. That's fine. Okay, we take this and we run. We're going as fast as we can. I'm just taking those items, so I don't know. Maybe we can avoid death somehow. Okay, I don't even care about that. Okay. This is the game. Run. Kill. Run. Kill. We don't even care about items on the ground. We are just very, very strong at this point. But the cost of me being one swift hit away from death. Now, I will go into the curse room because curse rooms can have something like dead cat. No death cat in sight. And that is a health up. Health up. Oh, that's actually health down. Nice. Okay. Um, guys, I'm stressing now. This is why you just don't take Damocles for the most part if you're trying to do a little, a little silly Eden streak. Okay, please pop up. Thank you. And do I just want to sacrifice? Probably not. If I had Wafer, I definitely would. That's like... It's a good way for me to get a devil deal on this floor. Maybe. You know what? We might just end this run early. I'm going to be honest. I'm so scared. I took Damocles. Oh, please. Have something crazy in here. You know what? Take you. 
Take you. Pop this. Take you. And... Okay, we did take the Polaroid, so we're going to go negative. I know ending runs early is cringe and garbage, but guys, we got to go quick. If I die, it's bad. Oh my gosh. No, please. I don't. I don't need this in my life. The thing is, I don't know if we actually die to Damocles. Because if we take fatal damage, we just end up like gaining more... A turn, uh, more of the scary hearts. I need to not even stop for that. We get more broken hearts. Please let me out. Let me out. Go, 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 go. Hey, please. We just set this right here. We forget about it. We just move to dodge. This is how quick a run can just turn the wrong direction. Please. 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 <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. Oh, go, please. Thank you. Thank you, game. Oh, oh, sketchy. Well, that right there was win 301 in a row. I'm very sorry that we couldn't have done like more on that run. I mean, no matter what, we weren't going to Mega Satan. The first we would have gone is Blue Baby. If we didn't get the Delirium Portal, then that's as far as we would have gone. So it's not we, like we skipped out too, too much. But I know, ending the run, a little bit cringe. But sometimes you got to do it for the meme, for the Damocles. I use Damocles. You know what? That's, I think that makes it so I can end one boss earlier. Just saying. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel, helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.